And here we are at the New Zealand Secondary Schools Bunnings 2020 Touch Championships held here in Dotorua. We've gotten to the cream of the crop in regards to our secondary schools teams. Our game today, we have Cullinane College going up against Lincoln High School. And this is the mixed third place final in the top grade. So both these teams just missed out on making the top final. Howick beating Cullinane this morning, 10 points to 6. And uh, Mahurangi just topping Lincoln, 8 points to 5. So Cullinane going up against Lincoln. This will be for the bronze medal. Uh, across all secondary schools in the mixed grade. So what a battle we have today. My name's Kimo Holtham and joining me in the commentator, commentator's box, I have Grant Robinson. Uh, looking at our next four games because they are our championship games. How excited are you, Grant? Yeah, afternoon, Kimo. Oh, it's super excited, mate. This is, this is what it's all about now. Um, we've done, all these teams have done the hard mahi all the way through from day one. Day two got themselves into these positions um, third and fourth playoff here still coming away with some good so the tough one is when you've just dipped out on those semi-finals is to just get your team back get their frame of mind right and come out and put on another really good performance to finish on a great high yeah and you know you you talked about that it's quite hard to be battling for a spot in the final and just missing out and then having to come back and play for third and fourth M mentally it's a hard thing to go to, to do Hoya no, uh, looking at uh, some of our names we've got down on our list. Um, I tend to look towards match officials to start. We've got Sunny Fakaro there, Tamil Monk and Ali Norton. Some great referees that we've had across all games at this competition. We are very fortunate here in New Zealand to have a real good uh, crop of veteran refs that are also bringing up the next generation of referees as well. Yep, and some may not know, but these referees, they do get assessed and graded across the days of competition as well. Just like the playing teams, they're trying to get to the best spots they can for these. So kudos to these referees uh, getting into this third and fourth playoff. Um, they'll be wrapped with that, and that shows their performances across the whole competition as well. So as with both teams, we'll be looking forward to great performances from the match officials as we see both teams last words being said here just calming themselves down I'm sure just getting them set ready to go thinking about those first key things that they want to set down and embed for their uh, for the start of this match yes yeah, so we have Lincoln High School all the way from just outside of Christchurch I think Correct. they'll be starting off with ball in hand and we have Cullinane uh, defending them coming from Whanganui or Whanganui uh, they are here looking for that bronze medal both these teams have put in a lot of work to get to this position so no doubt they'll be em emptying the tanks today just to try get out on top i'm super excited for our next few games we have coming up starting off with this a bronze be bronze medal match in our mixed section and here we have tap off with lincoln high just starting off by hitting those middle channels i like the way they're working those two mids um for Cullinane. Just trying to stretch them a bit. We start off with just a low risk play. Nice little dive under. We're going to get the touch. Beautiful work there by that female link. Um, Kalanane here. Recognizing they do have a mismatch. They're going to double it off. Come back on this left side. Like we said, they have the mismatch. Winger out on their left. Ref's going to call play on. Great opening try there by Lincoln High. Just managing where that mismatch was attacking in that side beautiful mixed try yeah great setup by Lincoln very structured team um, they are a younger team than what they have been the last uh, two years where they've also been in that top four top two playoffs um, but the same thing nice quickie dive to tighten up those middle defense then run a sweep play and release through to get a two on one to the winger scoring in the corner as we see Cullinan looking to run that backdoor play as well, try and run the male link past the, the girl, but Lincoln up to the task here. As Cullinan bringing it back into the middle, drawing the defence out, looking to pick, coming on the open side, release to the winger, nice long pass, but great defence there by the previous uh, try scorer, which is Ellie Walker. So Lincoln High looking to stay down this far channel at the moment. Bring it through to the middle. Subbers now looking to, to transition off. Need a good strong finish off the back end of the set, Lincoln. On the fourth touch. 
final fifth driving in. Good opportunity to scoop and go. Coming to the numbers side. Playing through. Releases to Walker again. Referee did call the play through, but then a player onside did make that touch. So great work by the colour name defence. Yeah, but the Lincoln High, they were able to go coast to coast there and finish off almost with a try. So very promising on their half. Here we have Cullinane just slowing down the pace again. I like it. They got those extras out there on the left. They've also brought on a new set of six. So here they are, and they've got that mismatch out on that left side. Something both teams are very good at. Well, do we find a gap here? No, they don't. Cullinane, though, will be looking to set. They have a player down, but can't capitalize on the fallen link there. So now, Lincoln High, they'll be looking to get some good go forward happening. We've seen they have some very good yards. And they show us that by chewing up about 30 metres off their first two touches. The Cullinane toucher there, trying to uh, ask the ref whether they were off the mark or not. Doesn't get the grain his way on that one though. So we have Lincoln setting up. They have a scooper on that mid. He's looking to step back. He doesn't. We still have a man on situation here with Cullinane defensively. So beautiful work on defence by this blue side. Yeah, that was great defence. Good energy. Just starting to see. I think that both teams have just settled into this nice and quickly. Intensity starting to raise, I feel. And we're starting to get into a real ding-dong match here with both teams starting to go end-to-end. Cullinane, good intensity here. Getting on the front foot, driving through the middle. Catching in between the two middles, which is perfect. Getting down to this all-important seven-metre line. Drawing the defence out a little bit longer now. Getting just on there. Dummy half picks. Looks to bounce out, flick on, ball goes to ground, but referee did warn the players that they were not onside, so penalty to Cullinane. I'm very impressed with the Lincoln High defensive policies at the moment. They're very tight, very tight, and the wingers are very good at identifying when that long ball's coming, when to come off. Nice little short checkoff pass there. Very unexpected. I don't think Lincoln were expecting them to have a nice little short pass there. The shutter was nowhere in sight. Beautifully worked try there by Cullinane. You can see here, Cookie outside, just enough. Looks like he's going to dive, checks off. And the link was too far up, not far in enough. Great way to level the score up. One all. I'm looking at you, Kimo. That was commentator's curse. You just talked about their great defense. <laughs> and there we go. I'm very good You've at that. I've already noted that. We already know Kimo's very good at sharing out the commentator's curse. The magic touch. <laughs> Be careful with those wise words. As Lincoln looked to come back, pick short side, get through, release on the inside. That's a nice ball on the inside, and Lincoln hit straight back. The advantage of just having pure pace is you can scoop from any touch at any moment, and look at that, just gets on the outside of his mid, nice little check back on the inside. Yes, just before the outline, great work there by Lincoln. Just to get their lead back, two points to one. Cullinane now on the back foot. That's two there. Great defense by Lincoln just to start, just to keep this Cullinane side as far away from that seven as possible. Looks like they're going to have a sweeper play coming back door. They do go that way. They're still heading towards that way. But again, that defense by Lincoln High. Very strong. They've got a mismatch on this left side, though. If they're willing to have a look, they can't turn it into points, though. So kudos to Lincoln's um, defense early on in this first half. Yeah, and here's what their platforms are built off. We'd expect to see from Lincoln. Nice, strong driving yards. Releases there to get the extra meters. Another flick on. Plays on. The referee did pick that up. We'll see the player run in goal, but come back with the video. We'll see the referee call the forward pass. Yeah, referee but was in perfect position there to uh, catch that forward pass. So Cullinane let off the hook a bit there because uh, Lincoln they had some very good go forward and some very nice extras. Oh, but they end up chucking the ball away. Lucky for them, they're right next to their box so they can get a full new set on. That far winger will have to hold though. Hopefully she won't have to do too much work leading into this set. Because as a winger, you've got to do a lot of defense on this, on this line. Just reading when to come in and slam on that link and when to stay out. Lincoln, they won't force her to work. Not in this first one anyway. They're going to just test out this left side.
Lincoln now, this is looking like their last set here. They go for a 33 peel, hit back on that right wing side. Kalanen lucky not to get done there because that winger was quite far in. As you can see, she's coming right to the box. She was the one who was unable to sub after that first set. So lucky for her, she'll be able to get a new winger on on that outside. Kalanen now getting a full set on. Nice little check back on the inside for those extra meters. Just chewing them up, Kalanen now. Good attacking position. They're in this si the side of the field that they want to be on. They're going to hit these middle channels again. No doubt a scoop coming in. Long ball out to that wing. Can they get it out? Yes, they can. <laughs> Ref's not going to give it though. They're going to call touch and pass. Well defended by Lincoln. Well, I wouldn't say well, but they've managed to hold on. Yep, get, get that call uh, from the referee. The player was in good position defensively mm. and uh, was able to get the touch as before the pass was starting to be released. And uh, now we see Lincoln moving up into their attacking zone, looking to spread right across length of the field. It's a 32 pick, open side sweeper to the winger. Great set play and nice finish, Lincoln Mix. That was excellent work, Kimo. That was excellent, just beautiful to watch. It was set from the start. They bunched them up right down on this left edge. You can see it because they started off with a very strong touch. So they knew they had to latch these players here just to get the right people in the position they needed. Nice little check off there. Then long ball out to the wing because he could see that the Cullinane winger had to shut in on that link. Otherwise, they were going to score in that position. Just beautiful work by Lincoln just to stretch their lead. Three points to one. Cullinane now two down. They've got a backdoor player coming around. They don't use them on that link position though, but they do have the mismatch on that left side. And I like what they're doing here. Using this female link on this side, they get her to come back door. They give it to the link in that mismatch. But you can't get past that link in defense. Yeah, I can nice see why, how they made it this far in the tournament. Defense wins games. Pace can as well, but he can't get away from that Lincoln defender there. Yeah, great work there. Regan LaRue, diving touch makes that. Still stays right in the place. There's Gutsy here, just now looking to go and sub off. But doing every little bit of work, I'm sure his coaches, uh, Blair Johnson and Stu Gilpin, are, are happy with as they start to head forward. Two girls from Lincoln Mix just trucking up the field. Look to get on, spread again to open this up. Dummy off, gets back in that 3-3 pick. Open side, believe that's Golter to the winger. Can't quite drag it in, just running over the sideline as she's trying to hold that ball together. And Cullen and get off the hook there as Lincoln looked like another promising opportunity. It is. Lincoln, every time they're in this end of the field, it looks like they're in try-scoring opportunity. So... Something Cullinane may need to sort out is their uh, orange, orange zone defense. Trying to keep uh, this Lincoln outside of that area would do a lot for them. But here we have some good go forward by this Cullinane side. They have numbers out on the right. They can't convert it into points though, but they do go coast to coast. And you've got to be happy with that as a coach. Yeah, that's what I'd be exactly right, Kimo. I'd be looking for as a coach just to lift their intensity. Speed through that orange zone there was excellent. Great transition on. So they'd be really happy with that. Next step off the back end of that is just having a good finish, which is either just a quick scoop through or a nice platform set off. But looking really, really promising for Cullinane. They're starting to connect together here as we see Lincoln pick off the short side, come back open. Can't quite release, but oh, that was no. the referee calling offside. That's why the player couldn't release the ball there. So Lincoln get second chance at it. Yeah, I was just about to give Cullinane some props there because they did some real good defensive work in that orange zone. Managed to keep them away from the seven meter, but just couldn't do it for that six touch. Very well worked there. Oh, the ref's going to give the try. Wow, a very beautifully well worked try by Lincoln. I thought the defence was on side. Nice little quickie play here. We've got him running back on profile. Yes, no, that player was not on side. Both feet did not get back to the line. Nice identification there by Lincoln. They stretched their lead to three, four, the, four to one. Lincoln over Cullinane at the moment. Yeah, great work there, number two, Jesse Waswo from Lincoln High School so he'll be happy to dot down always good to get one of those in, in one of your playoff games 
as Lincoln defence pushing nice and high. Good promotion by the two middles as they now roll in to the seven metre. That's great defence by Lincoln. Just letting them roll into there. Getting caught up with Cullinane. But they get to have another chance here as we see Ezra Malo with the ball. Just passing off to his other middle. Quickie play. Bounces back to Malo. Looking for the step and the dive. Six touch. Great defence once again by Lincoln. But really good attack there by uh, the Lick Cullinane team. Yeah, Cullinane, both wingers with both arms up in the air because they had space, space on either side of the field. I don't think they were too happy with the short option by their middle. And as you can see here, Lincoln just chewing up these metres midfield. Cullinane, they need to get up and put some pressure on this attack by Lincoln. They need to shut them down and not let them get down to the seven because they have some very good pace and some very good long ball throwers in this side. Nice and quick, but well defended by Cullinane. They do go coast to coast though, so it's going to be a hard job for them getting out of this side of the field. They start off with a good, um, good first touch up field. They now stretch it to their box, get it all the way to their winger, dummy the inside check, where they manage to get a full set of six on. Beautiful extra pass here work by these two ladies, Lincoln wing. Yeah, I'm Cullinane. loving that from Cullen, and they've been mm. doing that the whole game. The interchange through there is really allowing their transition players to sub on with plenty of time and options. And as we see, referee going over, sideline referee confirms there was a touch made, so just there. But man, that's that's now we're starting to see Cullen and start to edge forward, get really good opportunities, and it's come through that orange zone transition you were talking about, Kimo. And there it is. And here's the thing: the longer the match plays out. The harder it is, it's going to be to defend those sorts of plays. So Cullinane, they're, they're just looking to find their rhythm at the moment and it, it's looking pretty good. If they can tighten up this orange zone and just put a bit more defensive pressure on them through here, they're in good stead for the rest of this match. A minute, just over a minute left. Cullinane three down against this Lincoln side who forced a mistake. With a minute to go, they would have wanted to capitalise there and just stretch their lead out, make it a bit easier leading into the second half. Cullinane now with the chance to try and dot one down just before half time. They do well close to their box. Their female link and wing side work very well together, regardless of who's on the field. They have a scooper coming here. They're going short side, long balls on. Can they get it to the wing? Yes, they can, and they score a try. 30 seconds left on the clock just before half time. Exactly what you're wanting from Kalani. That's right, Kuma. They're clearly listening to us up in the commentary box, which is <laughs> great to know that uh, we have that influence from up here. Uh, but no, exactly what we said. Transition on, really great work from the box side Lincoln wing, which is allowing the pace to come through the middle. Great transition, catching the Lincoln defence a little bit off and now creating that option which will put them in two minds for the rest of the game I think. Yeah but you can't count Lincoln out, they can score from any position on the field. This is, could be the final play of the game, they do make the touch with zero time left on the clock, it's all about hearing when that hooter happens and there's the hooter right there, one more touch. Ref didn't hear the hooter though so they're going to play on. Ball to ground. No one has notified the ref that the Huda has sounded. So the game is going to continue playing. Good news for Cullinane as they get these free extra sets. We may be having Huda issues out on these fields at the moment. So it's going to be a prolonged half. Yeah, it does go into referees time officially. So it's up to the referees to make this call. It's Cullinane get through, get a dot down are questioning now their captain is going over just to check what's happening there the referees will be brought they together. have to no. award this try they have yep. to award the try you can't let it play on and then call time afterwards so they are going to give it Cullinane with the freebie after the hooter yes. score the touchdown Lincoln, you can see that you can't see it on screen at the moment, but they do have their coach talking to the referees. Referees explain the, explaining the situation. And at the moment, you can't not give a try after the, the, the ref has given it. So uh, I agree with this. Cullinane now down by one, three points yep. to four. 
bit of a handshake between the coach and the ref. I love the uh, sportsmanship in those sorts of moments. Yeah, great Afi shown there by uh, mm. the referee team towards the coaches and uh, obviously reciprocated there. And then we see that what we saw as the handshakes going on. Just clarifying that, and as we know, it does go into referee's time. They're the sole judge from that point. Um, so that's been clarified as we start to see some of the try lights here. Nice one, this one. Cullen and the quickie play, steps back, check back in. Just caught the Lincoln defence there, but they certainly shored that up afterwards. Lincoln here, saw the pick on the short side, scooped through, nice dot down there. And Lincoln started to get into their work there, get a little bit of dominance. Um, a nice play here where they stretch right out, they have the sweep come around the link side, they come open and release a short, long pass in the mixed format, which we're well aware of, Kimo. Yep. And then a nice flick on play here, which we thought we might have been heading towards the end of the, the half. Yep. But Cullinan play to the whistle, as we hear all the time. Little check in, bounce inside, and they got another one, which has, sets this game up to be pretty exciting at half time. Yeah, you can't. This is for third and fourth out of all secondary schools in the country. So you know we have quality on the field. You can't be giving away easy gaps like that, which is how Cullinane were able to claw their way back into the game. Only down by one now. Lincoln, though, still looking very, very strong. Let's hope the mental game is strong as well, because after mistakes like that, you can tend to lower the uh, lower the head a bit. Cullinane now with first attacking option heading into the second half. If they can get one back here, they will be ecstatic. They should be over the moon if they can claw one uh, one back. With 15 minutes left in this bronze medal match, we have Cullinane starting with a male male link option, and then they switch there, not choosing to find that mismatch out on that right side. They end up switching it up here, and they got someone in the ruck. They should get the penalty. Yes, they did. So they have a full set. They haven't had too many chances down this area of the field, Cullinane, in the first half. So it's good to see they're starting off nice and early with it. Yep, they'll have their tails up. You know, they got, it was 4-1, now 4-3. Tails are up, got a chance. Player's going to be called not to be onside with that. Draw it up. So we've got Cullinane right back in the match. That's how quick it can turn, Kimo. And there we have it. It's just off a nice little cookie here, mid-mid. Now, he had the long ball option as well. Instead, he chose the middle, but something for Lincoln to watch out for is they had an option to go inside and out. You, you never want to have two, two try scoring opportunities. Always better to have one, force them to either throw the long or shut them in nice and tight. Lincoln now, no doubt looking for the reply. They are very quick. Very good dive, oh. even better pass though. George what a Goulter, way I believe. to get the dot down. Beautiful work by Lincoln High School. Yeah, I believe it is. And as we'll see this, a little dive flick on. Now that's one in his pocket. I've seen him there at the secondary schools before down in the South Islands. It's not a common it. So it <laughs> is in his bag of tricks, that <laughs> one. That was beautiful to watch. George Golta, beautiful work. Cullinane now looking to reply. They have a chopper inside. Oh. Winger missed the touch. So Cullinane, draw it up, five all. We have a match on our hand. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I just had the same thing. You just feel that rise. You can hear in the background that both teams, especially Cullinane, starting to lift. There's excitement in the box. The coaches are also getting excited down there as well. And this game is on. Great chop in there by the link wing was right there but just didn't quite get the touch as we see just uncontrolled ball there by lincoln and isn't yeah. pressure just a funny little thing and there's a whole different uh feeling when it comes to playoff footy to finals footy and i just feel like it took a while for cullinane to find their rhythm in this match but they've found it and they're rolling with it lincoln now they're the ones who seem to be under the pump and they do get the penalty catching this player offside they will get another full set down on the seven meter. Yeah, really got the rubber the green right now, Cullen in there using all of the pressure here. Putting Lincoln under pressure. But Lincoln also started to just query with the referee what's happening as we get a bounce out play. 
Good touch there by the Lincoln middle. It's Cullinane right on attack. Lincoln under a lot of pressure. Good promotion by the middle defender. Looking on that quickie play. Just loses his footing. So we'll go back and replay that ball on the seven metre. Yeah, and look at this uh, Lincoln defence. They are very, very tight, leaving those outsides open, almost inviting Cullinane to throw that long ball. It's there. All they needed to do was get it out there, and they do. Cullinane with their first lead of the match, pushing the score out 6-5. Like we were saying, the Lincoln high defence were very, very tight here. Almost giving them the option to score it on the outside. If you can score it there, we're willing to give it to you. And they did. Cullinane now have the advantage over this Lincoln high side. Yeah, that definitely has been their policy. We've seen that nice and tight to start. They've thrown one now, Cullinane, with success. So we'll see if they go back there and we'll see what additions or changes we get from Lincoln mix. But right now we have Lincoln right on that seven metre line to attack and look to hit back. Looking at a quickie on that seven. Looks to release open. It's on a man on. Throws to the winger. Maybe heard from the referee an offside yep. call. So yep. gets the opportunity to come back and reset that. No, great identification by the Lincoln winger. I think he heard the ref call them offside. So he was throwing the ball regardless. Always knew he was going to get another set out of that. They go for the lo uh, low risk play with a bit of a quickie. Goes for the outside dive. They are going to call the touch. Good work by Cullinane. But Lincoln high just looking very potent on attack it's almost every player has an attacking weapon in them whether it be the long ball or the step or the step into a nice little flick pass like we saw from Golter not too long ago 33 peel play he's going to come back open they hit that link they have numbers on the outside he doesn't need it though saunters in to draw up the score six or Lincoln they are not going to go to sleep guessing tonight they're throwing everything they have at this Cullinane team. Yeah, great little play there. What we know is the dingo for those touches, a 3-3 platform, looking for the peel. And they just sat there linked a little bit deeper in the pocket. Some see it as a bit of a passive, and that just created indecision. The defensive winger went out to her wing to get man on position and allowed the, the Ben Hooper, the number seven for Lincoln, to come through. As we see... A chance, an opportunity right down in the far left-hand corner for Cullinane. Great defence by the winger, Ali Walker. She's been really solid down the other one. Then one little option early in the first half. So she's really come good here as Cullinane looked to dive in and under on the sixth and final. And Lincoln now on the flow forward. Good strong yards platform looking to hit from either side. Looking to stay strong here. It just... A right, couple of them just starting to sub off, get to their box. Fresh legs coming around. They look to get a flow off the end of this one. Release into the middles. Got Adam Golter, the other brother, on the field at the moment. Into that link platform. Quick in there. Oh, and he's got that oh, one. Oh, wow. The referee, referee is saying, I think, Bobble. And I think that's what I might have picked up. We Hopefully we'll get a replay on that one. Great eyes from the sideline referee. Yep. Very good work between our referees. Here the sideline ref was the one who let uh, the on-field ref know that there was a bit of a bobble. I thought there was actually a touch in here. Yes, definite bobble. Work by the referees. They're working just as hard as the players. That is awesome because we get to see that in slow motion. Yes. But that was fast paced because this pace is hot. Just like the heat of the sun here in Rotorua at the International Stadium as Cullinan come over the halfway working through their middle platforms but that one was a little forward great pick up by the referee he is on song today Sonny Fakaro. yeah as Lincoln looked to go straight to their box you can see these referees very deserved of their position of their position riffing in these uh, playoff games they're doing a great job I mean the speed in which these kids are playing to be able to see those sorts of moves, the little bobbles on the line. I mean, we've seen it all day. The refs have been picking them up. So great work by all our officiates throughout the weekend. We have Lincoln now hot on the attack. They'll be looking to reset here. They've got Cullinane at sixes and sevens. Can they turn this into a try? They did have space on the outside. I thought they were going to set up for a second phase there. Yeah, Jesse Waswai. He's a, it seems to be a bit of that do everything. He had a quickie play before. Now he's setting the sweep platform to get 
Hooper coming through on the sweep. Didn't get the call offside, so great refereeing. And Cullinane get out of there. And we'll be looking to get to their box with a nice solid platform to get them out of trouble. Releases early to the winger. Nice work. They've been working great through this transition. Nice strong yards coming through over the halfway now for Cullinane. Working through their middles here again. Little release. Last one. Looks to scoot. Oh, no. Fifth oh, touch no. by he the referee. He was offside by a country mile. I'm sorry, referee. I can see it from here. Cullinane don't get the call their way, though. But they do manage to get it all the way to this corner. So say, uh, so um, Lincoln will have to work to get to their box. Because no doubt they'll be needing a rest after that set. It was a hard defensive set. But they get the extra meters would just make it just a little bit easier. You'll be seeing them shift towards their box. Forcing Cullinane to shift from side to side. Opening up those holes towards the middle. They'll be sitting here. This is most likely setting up for their last touch. They'll be wanting a scoop or something off the end here. And they get it in great position. Oh, but unable to hold on to the ball. So Cullinane now, with the right of reply, they'll be going forward. They make one down the middle. Stack another one down on this left side. They'll be bringing some fresh legs on. Oh, but just another mistake. Giving Lincoln the ball inside their attacking half. Yes, that is not the one that you want to see right now. Give Lincoln another opportunity. And this is coming into the real part. I love to see this part. Five minutes around about to go. It's been a long tournament. The legs are getting a bit heavy. Adrenaline is pumping though, and it's really about who comes in. We see 33, the dingo play, releases to the winger. Floated through, winger has a dive. Nice touch call by the winger. Good coverage there in the defensive part from Cullinane. They bring back to the middle. With Golter on the ball, looks to get the quickie. Oh, oh. look to that play, brought it out of the pocket again. Hey, but I don't know if you said the Cullinane defence, this link on this side, she flew up hard. Yep. She had read that play, that's why the Cullinane attacker wasn't in that position, because he knew she was going to be there. So great defensive work, obviously they've done their homework after that first try they scored, using that exact same play. So Cullinane now will be looking to set something with the score at six apiece, four and a half to go. They have a scoop, they come short side, long ball out to the wing. I love the speed in which this Lincoln side can get on side. I mean, they are very quick. Yeah, I was just going to say, he actually sat back in the pocket there, yeah. which was great work. Mm. Just identified so that if you can promote up high, you get that one in the pocket, it nullifies that scooper. As we see Lincoln just disconnect there. And ball pass behind. As we see, a little bit more pressure. Four minutes to go. Great Six pressure. all here. And this is down to the money end of the game. We love this part. Excitement rises. Everyone's getting a little tense in the box. Lots of energy, lots of noise. Everyone on the field hopefully staying calm, just looking to see, get their structures right, talking to each other about what they're going to run, what they see out in front of them, drawing the Lincoln defence up. Looking at the quickie play as he got outside. Oh! Dive in from the link. Winger makes an excellent touch. That excellent. was awesome. You said it. That was an excellent touch. It was much needed. She flew in nice and hard. He was chopping nice and good in on that hole. Here they are, last one. They have a quickie bounce. Tries to turn it into a long. Can't do it. But it doesn't Golter matter because the wing miss. Oh, the middle misses him. They now have the advantage. Cullinane. Yes, they are. Look at how quick that transition, though. Lincoln, want, Lincoln are back at halfway, ready to go straight away. They sub their whole six off straight to the line. They're not waiting for anything as they get good yards. Halfway down, getting into that all-important line. We've got Adam Golter, brother of George, in here, looking to get right on the line, waiting for that defense. It'll be a quickie play. Oh, oh referee says you lost sense. control of that. Yep. So fair play. Touch was around there. Cullinane get off the hook, and they get good yards to their box. Looking to get fresh legs on. Oxygen levels are starting to drop, I'm they sure, but be. this is where it comes down to the business end. Coaches pushing these youth. That was a interesting ball <laughs> getting ahead of the player referee got the call i think from the sideline ref so and i love in that their time this is a final this is a final you want to get as many calls as you can but uh don't mind our scoreboard at the moment it's saying lincoln is ahead it's not it's other way around cullinane currently on seven points lincoln on six 
Here we have uh, Lincoln. They don't need to panic. Still two minutes. A lot of time left in this match. They don't need to panic. All they need to do, get down to their line and just continue to do what they've been doing this whole match. Get a nice set, use their pace and work these mids in and out. We've got a 32 there. They're going for the long. Hooper's Trying to get on the outside, but can't do it. They check back on the inside. Ball's still live. Still alive here, looking at the last touch. They're trying to do what they can. They can't. They throw the ball away. A minute and a half. There's still an opportunity for Lincoln to get another set here. Still a lot of time left on the clock. Yes, sir. As Cullen and Good Sports ran out and got that ball, I potentially would have just walked and waited for that ball to come back. You're up one. A minute and a half. That would have taken time off the clock. But hey, they're in the game. They're just wanting to keep going forward, which we see here through the middles. Got both Ezra Marlow on the ball. Scoops, goes in goal. He's broken through. Can he connect? Looking to the touch. Winger right on the corner. Sideline referee. Just need to communicate what happened. We're seeing. Clarifying. No, touch line was in touch the player before that ball went down that is great communication from the refs in what is a high intensity situation right now ah yeah ball you can on the see line. tip of that ball that just on awesome. that line here but we are running out of time lincoln they need to do something here there's the hooter this will be the last play can lincoln do something here they need one more try otherwise it's the end of the tournament for them they'll be going out in fourth place Cullinane looking to shut it down. They can't there. Still can't do it. The ball is being passed around. It's still live. Forward pass possibly. No. We, do we have a touch there? No. We're carrying on. Oh, 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 We've got an outside hole. But he can't find an open player. Is that the match? We have Cullinane players running on. And we do have a ref calling end of the game so Cullinane all the way from Whanganui will come in and win the game seven points to six at one stage it was 4-1 but they managed to come back and clinch that bronze medal that is what I love about this game of touch that we have is you're never out and if you can stick in it it's about where you are at the end of the game not in that first half and that was awesome so proud to sit here and watch that type of game in this third and fourth playoff and just see amazing intensity kept up through the whole match great skill sets on show but so proud for these two teams lincoln high school and cullinan college yes we have to give it up to both these teams they played extremely well under strenuous conditions i mean the sun is beaming Oh, it was a beautiful match to watch by both sides. Some excellent skill being put on show. But Whanganui, be proud of your school who come in here, did the damage and managed to walk away with that bronze medal. Hoya no e te whanau. That is that match over and done with. We see where the bronze medal goes. Coming up next at 240, we will be seeing where that gold medal will go to. Will it go back to Howard College, last year's champions? Or do we have a new champion in Mahurangi? You have to keep it locked here. 240 is our next game. Don't go too far.